We are looking here at a quadratic equation, x squared minus 4x minus 5, and I want to graph this. To do that, I need a bunch of items. Let's start here with our x-intercept, and you can factor this. When you factor it, you're looking at x minus 5 times x plus 1. If you were to take this back, it would go back there. You're looking here at appropriate factors for that. x here is equal to 5 comma minus 1. These are your x-intercepts, and we can write these as 5 comma 0 and minus 1 comma 0. I'm looking here now at my y-intercept. It's easy. Put 0 in places of x. You have a minus 5, so that's your y-intercept, 0 comma minus 5. The last thing I need now is my vertex. You can do that by doing a minus b over 2a, and then you can put the value of this into your original function, which you see at the very top. And what you get here as your output is your y value of the vertex, minus b over 2a. My a value is 1, b is a minus 4, c is a minus 5. We don't need that. We just need a and b. Minus b over 2a over here is going to be a minus minus 4 divided by 2, which is a2. I'll take this 2, as you see, and I'll put it into my original function, meaning I'm putting 2s in places of x. We're looking here at 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 5. 4 minus 8 minus 4 minus 5. It's a minus 9. That tells me our vertex here is going to be a 2 comma minus 9. We have everything we need now to graph it. How will we do it? Let's plot it out. It doesn't have to be accurate. We can do a good representation, relatively or semi-accurate. Minus 1, comma 0, a x-intercept. 5, comma 0, another x-intercept. We have here a 0, comma minus 5. We will extend this further down. Here's my 0, comma minus 5. I have my vertex 2, comma minus 9. I'll bring that down over here. Now all I have to do is just connect the dots. And that right there would be my quadratic equation, which here is the parabola. X-intercept x-intercept, y-intercept, vertex, and it's good.